and welcome the fantastic Reese Matthewson. Hello everyone, how you doing? You well? Yeah. Fantastic. My name is Reese. It's lovely to be here, and I hope I've made a good first impression on you all. Because uh, the thing is, right, is that I'm shit at making first impressions, especially around um, good-looking girls, right? Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I met a friend of a friend. This friend of a friend was quite an attractive girl. I actually introduced myself like this. I went, hello, I'm Reese, a.k.a. the sexual hurricane. <laughs> and I did a big sweeping moonwalk backwards, right? And then from a distance of about four to six metres away, I locked in a stare and went, you can be in the eye of the storm. <laughs> But the worst example was in January of last year when a girl had agreed to go on a first date with me. So I thought, I'll do the classic first date manoeuvre. I'll take her to the movies. But I'll go the extra mile. I'll pick her up from her house, drive her to the movies, watch the movie, drive her home. So it'll be romantic, chauffeur-driven, booyah. While we were on the motorway on the way to the movies, I thought it would be really funny if, apropos of nothing, I went... You guys know 
Sister Susan Boyle, she's my dad. <laughs> but the reason I have to keep my hair like this is twofold. The first of which, I have the smallest forehead known to me. <laughs> Yo guys, it's Dead Poet, we're here with Reese Matthewson. So Reese, it's a spank, how was it? It was really good, it's my first gig in the UK. Your well, first gig was spank? Well, I, three years ago I came here and did a few, but that's kind of the first proper one. That's the start of the legend. So Reese, you're only 21 now, like, how, like, what's it like being a young gun in comedy? Oh, it's fine, it, it's good, it's shit house. No, it's, um, it's really good. I don't know. It's just, it's the same as any other comedian, except that I'm gonna die after them. I like that. I always like Well, that. statistically, it's, it's about 50 50. My arteries are about 25% clogged, I'm assuming. So it's about an even race between me and any other comedian on the circuit. What's been the most uh, impressive heckle you've ever had? Most impressive? Ah! I was doing a kids' gig once in New Zealand, and I asked the audience, uh, "Oh, the kids, do you guys have any brothers or sisters?" And one kid put his hand up and went, "I had one, but it died." Which is an amazing heckle because you, there's nothing you can say to it. You can't be like, "Oh, probably because you didn't tidy your room." You can't do that. You just got to go, "Okay." Move on! Right. <laughs> was it like their parents at the back crying or...? Their parents at the back were going, ooh, and I was, I was like, well that kid shouldn't have come on the dance floor when I was there. Oh. It was his own fault. So how did you get into comedy? Uh, I did a, a program that they run as part of the New Zealand International Comedy Festival uh, called the Class Comedians Program where they take school, like 20 odd school kids and kind of put them through a comedy boot camp. So I started when I was 15. Yeah, well, you're more experienced than most of the comics here. Yeah, I, I've been doing this shit for a long time. I'm already jaded, it's great. Where, where, why are there so many hot girls in Edinburgh? What? It's a very good point actually. But, uh, and now I'm starting to wonder, are they hot or are they just putting more effort in than the girls in New Zealand? Because the girls in New Zealand, I mean they're a little bit feral, but on the whole they, I don't know, are they, basically um, is it genetics over here? Or is it full on scrub up? You know, I, I, I don't want to be attacked on YouTube by the comments, but I think it's a bit of both. I wouldn't say that we've got the genetics nailed down, because realistically, Britain, we're okay. But Jesus, the Edinburgh girls, it's amazing. It is amazing. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's great. The Scottish accent on a lady, oh my god! What's the most intimidating chat up line you ever had? Then I'm getting it or I'm... Either or. I'm happy with either. Neither has happened. <laughs> I'm terrible with girls. I don't try and... I don't approach women. What? Are you serious? That requires confidence. That, that, re that requires a sexual prowess above nil. Have, uh, have you got any kind of YouTube channels or social media or Twitter handles people can follow you on? Uh, yes, Twitter, at Respect, R-H-I-S-P-E-C-T. And you can find out what that means to me. Oh, a sexy poem. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> well, Reese has been fantastic. In no, no, we've been oh, what? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, actually, who needs Scottish women? Let's just do this. Oh, that's, that's literally the most human contact I've had since coming to the UK. It's, it's nice to feel loved.
and Usain Bolt and from Austria, Hans Uberweit. Oh, fuck my life. <laughs> fuck my life. So I know it's like... Uh, hang on a second. I might fucking book a holiday. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. I don't know if they're good, but fuck, I reckon they're cheap, you know? 